when the Buddha teaches mindfulness immersed in the body, the first thing he discusses is being mindful of the breath. And it's good to stop and think for a few moments about why he starts there. And one of the reasons is because the breath is your most immediate experience of the body. We have a tendency to identify ourselves with the solid parts of the body. And I think of the breath as something that's secondary, something that comes in and out of the part that we inhabit. But actually, you wouldn't know about the solid parts of the body or the solid sensations in the body if it weren't for the breath. For one thing, you'd be dead. And if there were some way of being alive and not having the breath, the only way you know that there's something solid is because there's something that's moving against it, moving over it. So think about this as you're focusing on the breath. One way of approaching the body is thinking of it as primarily breath sensations. And John Lee has a whole series of, a series of them. The breath that moves up the body, the breath that moves down the body. The breath that goes out through all the blood vessels. that tenses up and relaxes the muscles in the blood vessels, the breath that goes out the nerves. It says breath sensations that spin around in place. There are all kinds of breath sensations in the body. And one way of making the body more comfortable is to think of it as all breath. Every sensation has a breath aspect to it. Focus on the breath aspect. If anything th seems tight or tense, don't write it simply off as being a part of the a solid part of the body. Think of it as a breath sensation that somehow got tightened up. So loosen it up. Think of it as breath. Approach it as you would a sense of breath moving through the body. And see how that changes the way you relate to it. This is one way of making the body interesting, because an important principle in concentration practice is that if you rely solely on the power of your will to stay with an object, it's going to run out very easily. But if you find the object absorbing, it's a lot easier to stay. to look at the body from a new light, or in a new light, from a new perspective. And see if it makes it more interesting to be sitting right here, not doing much of anything else, just staying right here with the body, exploring how it feels to be right here and not traveling around. If you try to lock the mind into the body, it's like locking a child into his room. He's going to try to figure out some way to get out the window. Or he'll start doing things in the room that he knows his parents doesn't like, just to spite them. And the mind has that quality to itself as well. You lock it in with an object and it'll start doing things just to spite you. So the trick is to leave the windows and the doors open, but give the mind lots of things to play with, things to get absorbed in. And that way the child will stay in its room without your having to force it, without your having to lock it in. The breezes can come in the window, and they don't blow you away, because you've got something interesting right here in the present moment, because you find that when the breath energy goes better in the body, 
aches and pains in the body will be fewer, and you'll be healthier in general. Then as you really get to know the breath, you find that it can induce a sense of refreshment which, as you allow it to stay, gets more intense and it shades into rapture. All simply from being with the breath. So if you find that the breath is boring, one, you're not paying attention. And two, you're not asking the right questions. You're assuming lots of things that you think you already know about the body in the present moment. Learn how to question them. Is the body as solid as it seems? Certain sensations of tension or tightness, do they have to be there? Maybe it's the way you're breathing that's maintaining them. And as you allow yourself to get absorbed in the breaths, exploring these things, you find that it requires less and less willpower to stay here. And this is the kind of concentration that has discernment as one of its integral factors. In terms of the basis of success, it's the fourth one, concentration based on the powers of analysis. So give it a try. Explore what's actually happening right here as you sit here. Breath comes in, the breath goes out, the breath spins around in place, gets blocked here, flows there. Explore these things. It's part of learning how to take after, take care of the body. And you find that in taking care of the body this way, you're taking care of the mind as well. <laughs>